I, when I played against him, I think as a young player, I didn't really know what I was looking for, if that makes sense. You know, I didn't really know what my strengths were. I didn't know, should I be really aggressive? Should I try and sit in? Um, and at that time, I think he was, um, you know, he knew, mentally and everything, he knew exactly what to be doing at the right time. And, you know, it was more the mental battle that he dominated, certainly in my early career, uh, when I played against him. Um, you know, it wasn't always necessarily, um, you know, absolute Jaffa's bowling, it was more the, you know, him understanding where to put the ball in the right time to keep that, you know, me in, in particular, or anyone under, under pressure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, there's no doubt that I think things get easier. The more you see of things and the more time you spend in the middle against a particular bowler, um, it's going to get easier. So guys who have a bit of mystery as spinners or guys who swing the ball both ways uh, with ch little change in their action, the, the, if you can, you know, I guess have a little bit of luck but spend hours in the middle, then eventually you start to pick up little things that help you um, you know, understand it and, and play it a, bit, a, a lot better. Five. People always ask me who's the best bowler you've ever faced, and I always say that still, I think, um, you know, at this level, if you've got, you know, for me, Warren McGrath, if they were, you know, coming from either end, um, whether one was attacking, one was uh, just drying you up from and, and giving you no scoring options, you know, that to me was uh, some of the toughest cricket. And when we lost in, you know, 5 0 in 2006 7, uh, that was the toughest cricket. Um, you know, I, I think I've been a part of. Um, in Australia, absolutely gave us nothing. I think Warren McGrath um, were very good at working out individuals, whether it's technical, mental. Um, you know, you could just see it, and they were very quick to operate on that. Uh, obviously, again, I speak to people like David Saker, who played quite a bit of cricket with Shane Warne, again saying how good a cricket brain he had, and you know that was part of it. It wasn't just the fact that he bowled, you know, fantastic leg spinner and had all the tools, but the mental side and the tactical side again to go with the bowling. Um, he said, makes him, to me, still the best bowler I've, I've ever faced, yeah.